There to finish into the net was Thomas Williams. So now it's one goal and three points to one point in favour of Kirwan McDonough's. So, Colum, Colum O'Sullivan to pucking out for the Carrick Swan man, dropping in inside the Kilo 165 man, added too quickly there by Alan O'Sullivan. Alan O'Sullivan gets inside where he's going to a nice piece of work there by Hagesty. Hagesty is breathing down and goal, fixed it outside as the ball intercepted. Good work there, and it's clear, well, half clear, not fully cleared yet. The ball, the tackle is coming back in. Bobby Ryan in the ticket things there, he's maybe only on the field a couple of moments, but he got a hurt jostle there as the ball fakes outside. It's with Hagesty again, chance of a point. Fixed it inside where he gets it does Kieran Reid. Kieran Reid has it now, about to be tackled over there by, by Gavin McAvinci. Goes outfield to come back infield. They decide on taking a point. He looks at the ball is dropping right in and the goalkeeper deciding that discretion was the better part of Valor flicking it over the bar and conceding a point. It could have been so much more dangerous had he tried to control it on the slippery surface. So it's one goal and three points to two points after almost ten, almost ten minutes of the first half. Jar Corcoran now to puck out. Jar pucks it down, dropping it over the 65 metres, and Kevin Lanigan just flicks it down where Bobby Ryan has just, just expecting it there, and he came quickly to him and goes back inside where Pat Williams had it. Pat Williams has been tackled, gets in the shot, stopped inside there by Kevin Lanigan. Good work there by the centre back, takes one tackle, just half, half hits the ball there, and it goes straight in. And when it comes to Kevin Quinlan, Kevin Quinlan has his uh, drapery tugged there, and it's going to be a free in. A free in for the killer one in from just outside the Carrick Swan 65 meter line. Meanwhile, Bobby Ryan uh, is leaving the arena now, and Danny O'Hanlon seems to be okay again, and he's back in the action. This free looks as though it's going to be taken by Seamus Hennessy. Seamus, of course, who captained the Tipperary under 21 team to monster success this year and narrowly defeated in the All Ireland final. Now, Seamus now. Just outside the Carrick Swan, 65 metre line, almost dead straight in front of the post. It's a long way out, it'll be a great one if it goes over. And he fires it in, it's tailed to the right and gone wide. So, score remains, one goal, three points to two points. After 11 minutes of play, Colin O'Sullivan pucks it out, gets great length into this one now, ball dropping down there, half collected there by Alan, by his brother. It doesn't it goes off his hand there. Going after it now is Alan Sullivan. Alan Sullivan has it now. About to be tackled there by the other number 10. The number Mark O'Leary. Mark. Mark who was an All-Ireland winning medalist in 9 in 2001 with Tipperary of course. Doing good shepherding work there. The ball going out over the touchline. And Stephen Hassey to take this line ball. Just short of the halfway line. Comes up now. Strikes. It gets a beautiful strike on that. Dropping it in. They're about 35, 40 yards, but going back to collect it there is Lee Bryan. He's uh, Liam Gibson. Liam Gibson clears it clears very close to the touchdown. The clash of the ash there. Coming out to collect it was Kevin Lanning. He left it after him, and the man who doesn't leave it after him, well, he, he does leave it after him now, was uh, John Grace. Players tossing for there. Grace kicks ahead, doesn't get it very far, but the ball breaks almost kindly there for Kevin Quinn and show who's off with there, but wins it back despite the best efforts of Grace, who puts a beautiful piece of ball hurling there, there by Kevin Lanning and from the Swansmen. Gets it out, but it's stopped there for him by, by Jim McCall. Jim McCall there for Killer One, clearing it back down. But Lanny and collects again, drops, collects at the second attempt, being tackled there by Pat Willems, wins the free end. Great work there by the centre back. And there's a little bit of um, after, shall we say, a small little bit of handbag stuff. Referee calling players away, and the referee is penalising Killer One another 10 metres. And the ball is brought to the Carrick Swan 65 metre line now. Kevin Lanny again to take this free. After he worked so hard to get it, he's going to try and complete the job now by maybe scoring a point or at least getting the ball in around the house and who knows what could come at the end of it. Rises, strikes, high up into the clouds and there's plenty of muck there today. The ball dropping on the edge of the square. Keeper put, bats the ball out, out to the side. Going after it now is Keaton Reed. Keaton Reed about to be tackled by Gavin McAvinci. Reed decides to fire it in over his head. Back towards the 20 metre line, putting up to Daniel Hanna, doesn't collect it. Good work there by the Kilo One defence. The ball cleared out the field there. Great work there uh, by Jim McCaha. Gets it out, stopped by Lanigan again. Uh, Kevin Lanigan again, being helped over there by Martin Russell. Flicks it up along where it goes towards Darren Fahey. Darren Fahey has it now, about to be tackled there by Seamus Haynes. He still gets in his puck, gets it towards Kieran Reid. Reid has it now. Kieran Kier is on his way towards goal. Kier Reid is great. He's on the 20 metre line now. He's racing right through. He drops the ball. It's gone out. Oh, it's gone. It's gone harmlessly out over the inline and wide. I don't know what happened, but he lost control at the vital time. So, score remains 1 3 to 2 points.
coming up to 13 and a half minutes in the first half. And Jerk Corcoran, glad to see that uh, that attack go straight there from Carrick's Spawn point of view. Jerk Corcoran to puck it out now, pucks it out way over to that far side there. Now dropping down, the ball going off of James Hennessy's hand, collected there by Kevin Lanny and gets it back in field there and out towards John Welsh. The ball is intercepted. A chance here for Killer One again. Costa on the burst. Costa look, collects, falls to the ground. His head gets good help there from a Carrick Swan player. But it'll probably be a point, but it could have been a goal had he picked it at first. So a chance now, I'm sure, that Ray Malotny will probably be the taker of this free and he'll probably be satisfied with the point. Well, on two occasions that man has got inside the back line. He's looked very, very dangerous indeed. So a chance for them to get something out of it anyway. It looks like Ray Malotny will probably be taking this free and I'm sure he'll be satisfied with the point. No, in fact, it's going to be Seamus Hennessy who's going to be taking it. And one wonders now, would he be satisfied with a point? He might be thinking about going for a goal. Let's see what happens. Here he comes. He rises. He strikes. And it's saved inside. He went for the goal. It's flicked out by the goalkeeper. Great save in there. Splendid save. And Sullivan flicks it out to save it there. The ball going out over the touchline. Well, I just wonder, would Killer One have been better off to go at this early stage? Would their side ahead by four points? They'd now be five ahead. Who knows? We may know later on, but... Um, Sometimes to take a point is often the best thing to do. But anyway, it's a line ball for Killer One over on that far side. And Seamus Hennessy is going to once again be the taker. Is about uh, 40 yards out or so from the Carrick Swan post. Will he drop this right into the box now? That's a lovely drive and a beautiful drop. ball. Keeper comes out, gets it out, gets it. The ball is still in the danger area there. Could go anywhere. A wall of black shirts there. Somehow it's coming out and being cleared out the field there. Good work there. I think it may be in Jamie Sweetman got it out there. The players fall to the ground and uh, Carrick Swan man is the man who was deemed to have been fouled and it's going to be a free for Carrick Swan. Well, I'm sure they'll be glad that there was no score. Got that coming out now to take this free is Daniel Hanlon. Daniel Hanlon, it's a long ways out. Will he be satisfied if he can get it over the bar? Will he be just love it on the edge of the square? Who knows? It's just beyond the halfway line. Rises, strikes, gets plenty of air, uh, drops it menacingly in there around the goal and out there, dropping into the square, hands and sticks go up for it. Mando's coming out, a good work there for Killer One. Defensive leader, I mean, very solid in there. Comes to Hennessy, Hennessy delivers a long attacking ball right down, dropping on the 20 metre line. Danger breaks again, Costello has it. Costello is happy with the. With the, the point this time, he takes the breaking ball and pops it over the bar. So now that further increases Killer One's lead. It's now 1 4 to 2 points. Coming up to 60 and a half minutes gone in the first half. Colm O'Sullivan. Colm O'Sullivan now. Suddenly the busier of the two keepers anyway. Pucking it out now, keeping it, dropping it around the centre of the field. Players going up for it there, not an attitude there by Kieran Reid. Doesn't get it very far. Hennessy intercepts for a killer one. Gets it in towards the centre forward. Deeply blocked back there by a Carrick Swan player. Comes out, breaks forward for Alan O'Sullivan. Alan O'Sullivan doesn't he loses out to it there. And the man who has it now is Owen Hogan. Owen Hogan going off it. Being tackled, being tackled there by Paul Diffley. Still gets in his hand pass just the same. Gets in towards Costello. Costello trying to round John Welch. This time lets the ball fall to the ground. And the Carrick Swan man falls to the ground and he wins himself a free out. Well, certainly. The ploy seems to be getting that ball over to Mikey Costello. And he seems very dangerous when he gets it in his hand. And Kevin Lanning takes a quick free up along that far side there. There it comes to Paul Diffley. Paul Diffley doing low in towards. Well, it doesn't go where it was intended. And it's stopped there by, by Stephen Murphy. Stephen Murphy for Killer One. Gets it out, but he gets it back. And he goes to the opposite number six there, Kevin Lanning. And Kevin Lanning in a head to Halsey. Halsey holds on the ball, gets it up there, toss. And connected here now, a chance here. He, drive, he goes over one player, goes on. Tries to go around the second player there. He's stopped it. Darren Fahey has it still. Gets it back there to Alan O'Sullivan. Alan O'Sullivan pops it in. And that's good work by Carrick Swan. And the ball goes over the bar. And narrowing the gap now. It's now 1-4 to three points. And good work there by Carrick Swan. And the build-up there. And getting the ball.